Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 19th of 2020, well, it's titled Rotating Moon from LRO. So what do we see here? Well, this, was a, this is a short video clip running 24 seconds that shows the moon as it rotates around. Now, this is unusual because, first of all, from us observing here from Earth, the moon rotates with exactly the same time period that it revolves around the Earth. And what that means is that it always keeps the same side facing towards the Earth. So, since ancient times, we've always seen the same face of the, of the moon and have never seen the other side, that the far side of the moon we've never been able to see. And in fact, not until the late 1950s when the first spacecraft went around to send us back images of the far side of the moon have we ever been able to see that. So here, as we play the video, you will see that you can watch the moon. It will start off with the more traditional side, and you can see the maria, dark areas, and the lighter highlands. And then as it rotates, we will see the far side of the moon. And what we note is that they are really quite different. We see on the near side the maria, darker areas that have been flooded by lava, but we, on the far side, we do not see any of those. In fact, we see a lot more lighter areas of the moon there. So it tells us that there are two different sections to the moon and that the moon has been more active geologically on the near side of the moon. So whether it's that because the crust is weaker there, because that constantly faces the earth perhaps, or for some other reason. But when we look at the far side of the moon, we see a few areas that have been flooded, but not near the numbers that we see in the traditional face that we're used to seeing as the uh, video starts. Now, the two areas we call the Maria and the Highlands. The Maria are the darker areas, smoother areas, and have many fewer craters than the Highlands. The number of craters that we see on an object tells us about the age, how old that object is, and how long it has been since it has been resurfaced. So, the moon itself has lots of craters, meaning it's, been a, very, it's a very old surface. Uh, the Maria would be younger, but still relatively old, uh, in terms of age compared to the rest of the solar system. Uh, the highlands, the lighter areas on the moon, uh, will be four, four and a half billion years old, and the Maria maybe three and a half billion years old, still far older than areas here on Earth. So we can use the number of craters that we see on an object, whether it be the moon or the Earth, or things like Mercury, or some of the uh, moons of the outer solar system to really help us judge how old they are and how active those objects are. Because one of the th ways we remove craters is through weathering effects and geological processes. On Earth, wind and rain will wipe out craters and volcanic activity will wipe out craters. On an object like our moon, there are no such activities, so the, it will last, um, the craters will last a much longer time, as we can see in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for July the 19th of 2020. It was titled Rotating Moon from LRO. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Comet Tail. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.